Good morning, guys. Welcome back into Catherine's Backyard Garden. This video is about what's happening in Catherine's Garden in August. Well, we had a record high heat in July. It was the hottest July in history here in the South. June was not quite that bad. I was able to harvest. I had tomatoes up in this area and um, as you can see, this area is all overgrown. Listen guys, I was not coming out here in that extreme heat. So a lot of things just didn't survive. God, excuse me guys, my husband's cutting the grass back there. I had a few tomatoes back here. You see these ones is green. I had one up in that corner right there that I'm not going up in that corner because I don't know what's up in there. This is what I'm doing. I'm just cleaning up the area. I cleaned my tomato bed out, putting compost in there and getting ready for the fall. Okay, guys, I got my husband pulling these containers out because I can't pull those containers out. Just pull everything out because I do have back issues. So I can't. You need the. Yeah, pull. Could you pull the whole thing? Yeah, he's pulling it out so I can clean it up, and I'm gonna clean it out. Just pull everything out. Yeah, pull. Could you pull the whole thing? Yeah, he's pulling it out so I can clean it up. June was not quite that bad. I was able to harvest a few things in June. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning up the area. I tell you that one there. I think I'm gonna trim those. Um, the uh, I think I need to trim that peaches tree. I didn't get any peaches. Um, this summer I hadn't gotten anything from over the side. I have blueberry. I got peaches and orange. I had nothing. Extreme heat, but I do have a lot from my. Um, I have a lot. It down in the ground. Oh, wow. Okay, just hold on for a minute. I do have some um, lime. Okay, guys. This is day two. We couldn't come out on yesterday because it was too hot. So we are out here early this morning with our whole raid weed eater. And um, we're trying to clean out this side here. And... Um, we're going to put the uh, containers back because I trimmed down the f little fruit trees that I have. I don't have a whole lot of them. Uh, so I trim those down and um, clean those out a little bit. And um, we're going to place that back up in the corner. I discover I had some peanuts in here. I take and throw the peanut um, shell in here. And um, look, I have some peanut in there. But I'm not gonna pull it yet. I'll pull it another time in another video. I still have some cleaning up in here to do. We clean out all the, um, I cut back all the containers up in here. And this is my comfrey. This comfrey come back there every year. And uh, she's doing great. I had one or two tomatoes on the vine right here. Let's see, right here. I think I'm going to leave those on. So I still have to clean up right back here. And then I'll place everything back where they belong. So, okay, guys. 
I'm gonna start phase two. Okay, guys, we finish him. Um, yeah. Okay. We just finished cleaning up the area and he's putting back the containers. That's good right there. And um, this is it. You can see my peach tree is dying of water. Yeah, that's good. And these three little containers just go in the front. Okay guys, we complete this job, finally. Uh, we had to battle with the heat a little bit, a whole lot, because this, this containers are where I had to commit tomatoes and stuff in. They're gone. I got one tomato hanging on the bush right here. I got that one, and I think I showed you that earlier in the video. But yeah, we finished uh, just cleaning this whole section out. I finished over there where my squash and... Um, and uh, cucumbers usually hang out at, but uh, this year didn't do well at all. So um, I just cleaned it up and uh, just getting ready and uh, for the um, the fall. You know, I'm gonna see what I can grow for the fall. So guys, um, thank you for watching. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it. And share my video with a friend. You have a wonderful weekend. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.